Prepare to be inspired. It's time for reaction. Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Welcome in. It is Monday morning and it is going to be an epic week of reactions and events and special things that I can't even begin to tell you about because they haven't happened yet. Yeah, so we have many, many music reactions coming starting tomorrow all the way through Saturday. We've got funny stuff. We've got what the hell Wednesday stuff. We've got throwback Thursday stuff. We've got stuff that's going to make me cry like a little baby because you purposefully, all of you are sending me requests that are super touching because I'm a dad. Thanks, dicks. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you guys. Um, check us out on oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts. It's got our Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel. Thank you so much. Every single one of you, you make this channel possible. And yes, there are reactions over there you can't see on YouTube. Uh, and the merchandise store. Now, it is Dungeons and Dragons Monday. And we have the live stream tonight. Now, first off, before we go any further, on behalf of all of us here at Old School Nerd and friends, um, I would like to apologize for anyone who was offended by exploding anuses last week on the Dungeons and Dragons stream. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I dare you to go and click it. It's the one from last week. It's number six in the D&D Monday stream. Um, it's on Old School Nerd Live. Um, we won't have any more exploding anuses, okay? No more. All the anuses will stay intact from here on out. If an anus explodes, that's because all of it exploded, including the head, the feet, the whole thing, okay? Which can happen. That's normal. It's Dungeons and Dragons. But tonight, we've got a special event in Dungeons and Dragons on the stream this week because we're missing uh, two to three players. So instead of doing the regular adventure, which we don't want anyone to miss out on, we're going to do a special one off adventure where some of us have been invited to a special dinner party that our DM has hooked up. And that means, as everyone knows, fancy dress. No, it probably means death and mayhem, but we're going to see what happens and we'll be there. We're starting tonight at 6 p.m. right here on Old School Nerd. That's CP, uh, at 6 p.m. local time, Central U.S., wherever you are in the world. If you can't make it tonight, it'll be uploaded on the channel. Don't worry, you'll get to see it whenever you're ready. Okay, now, my, my kids asked me a while back, hey, Old School Nerd, Dad, they, sometimes they call me one or the other. So I'm just, sometimes they go, hey, Old School, I'm, like, I'm your dad. They're like, yeah, but this is more cool. Um, they're like, hey, can we play Dungeons and Dragons? Now, they're ages 11 and 17. My first time ever playing D&D, I was 10. So I can't exactly be like, you, you're not old enough to play D&D. Uh, I can't really say that. That would be a lie. And I don't believe in lying into my kids, even if it is better for them. Uh, so I said, sure, but you can't play with us on Monday nights because apparently we're going into that Icelandic insanity and it's a little bit much for kids your ages even though you guys have the internet <laughs> and youtube so i said listen why don't we make a family game and that one takes place on saturdays and we upload all of the family dnd on the old school nerd live channel so if you go to old school nerd live right now you will actually see two dnd playlists one is for families one is for regulars now i'm about to call that irregulars because we keep going off the beaten path into the bazaar but the family one, it is strictly for families. It's parents and their kids enjoying some family time playing some D&D together. Remember when I said my kids had never played D&D before and they wanted to? Now, I suggested to them to help them along. There are quite a few YouTube channels that will help them learn a little bit about their characters that they've decided to do and how to play the game. And I suggested D Dungeon Bros because those guys are really good at not getting too far into the weeds as far as the nerddom and can talk plainly to anyone about the game and make it simple. My kids didn't listen to me. No, instead they went to this one, which is one for all, which is actually not uh, instructional at all. It's comedy. It's a comedy web series done by some amazing actors and role players who got together and decided, you know what? Dungeons and Dragons is a game based upon people's personal interpretations of vague rules that were written many, many years ago and updated constantly, and you never know what's going on at any given time. 
And then when we do play it, the dungeon master can kind of go wherever he or she wants to go. And then people can go against that in any way they want to do. And then there's bards. Now, my 17-year-old is now a satyr bard. And if she wasn't quirky enough as it is, the bard class is one of the most bizarre classes in the game. Why? Because they can be fighters, they can be healers, they can be buff slash debuff support characters, and they can also be useless. <laughs> it just depends upon how you build them. Well, um, if you've never had a bard in your D&D party, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but you're about to. This one is called Bardic Inspiration. I have not seen any of these on YouTube. However, my kids have seen them all and I hear about them constantly. Apparently, this one is called Bardic Inspiration. It is an ode. By the way, if you don't know what an ode is, look it up. O D E, not Ode, Ode. Um, it's an ode to the level one spell skill that bards get called Bardic Inspiration, which helps support it's kind of a, a latent buff to everyone's abilities in the party. It also has a tendency to do things that are very great for the party. It can also do things that are very poor for the party if it's done wrong. And it usually messes up every dungeon master's plan for the night and pretty much makes hell for everyone. And they give it to them at level one. So this is a song by the fantasy comedy troupe, One For All. And my kids have told me everything about these, these, this group. So I'm really looking forward to it. Let me move my beard out of the way. Since this is the first one, we will not be, since you've sat through all of the six minutes of me talking about it, on the next ones we do for this group, I will not have to do the synopsis. We'll just go right into it, okay? Promise. Here we go. Bardic Inspiration. You talk, maggots? Nice. Yummy. Extra spit. Just the way you like it. Sad. Write a song about it. Wow. <laughs> How did we end up inside of these walls? And what is this punishment for? Apart from the murder and burning and pillaging, stabbing and slaughtering, sure. We just wanted glory and fame. Okay, now, he's a very good singer, obviously. He's a performer, he's an actor, he's great. <laughs> Now, she's the fighter of the group. My kids have told me because my 17-year-old wants to have her hair cut. She wants a page boy really, really bad because she loves hers. Um, and then the other one, from what my daughter says, is my, my youngest says that the other female in the group is her favorite D&D character of all time. She's a, either a sorcerer or a wizard. She's a magic user. And she has a lisp. Not in real life. The actor, when they play around the table, like when they're in real life talking about the thing with the dungeon master and the table, they go back and forth. The videos, uh, the kids say they go back and forth between the fantasy world, which, you know, right here, okay? And then they go back to where the players are actually on the board with the dice, talking to the DM about, you know, complaining or arguing with the DM about the situation. And the player who's playing the magic user does not have a lisp. She doesn't. But Somehow, in her role-playing genius, she said, I'm going to give my magic user a horrible lisp, where you can barely understand what the hell she's saying. And when she does so, because she's a magic user, apparently it affects her spellcasting, and she accidentally, on purpose, lights everything on fire. <laughs> it's a genius. That's now her. <laughs> from a bucket and poop in a bucket, too. Ooh. So much undone, what a shame. So many NPCs we haven't stuck it to. She's trying to bite her way through the, the caster's manacles. Now, for uh, a magic user, you normally would not put just handcuffs or shackles on them because if you keep their fingers free, they can weave spells and cause mayhem, destruction, and probably escape. So these keep their hands in bondage where they can't weave spells. Um, and she's trying to bite her way through because, well, she's a savage. 
But I will not die before I've loved I can't deny the world my shaft This jail's rather understaffed I may not be brave like a fighter or magic or strong But sometimes Also, according to my kids, the magic user's character in the game is very silly and goofy so essentially, for those who know what this term is, the, the, the magic user in, in the skits um, is Jar Jar Binksing the crap out of it. If you know what that is, you'll understand very quickly. Finds the key, can be found in a song, get a key, ha! I kill with charisma and See? cool captivation, belting out bars of bardic inspiration. What's See? Spartic Inspiration? Oh, it's this ability he got at first level, just hasn't used it till now. Uh, essentially, he can improve your chances of success. Hmm. Believe it or not, some people actually find his music inspiring. <laughs> I'm the hardiest, bardiest bard, archer spring salvation. Timing and tenderness, terribly talented, top with a bit of alliteration. <clears throat> Sorry. Ivanjo with her mighty strength of many men goes to any length. She throws a fist, she'll leave you in a daze. And Nixie says concerning things, then mostly ends up burning things. But that's so cool, she'll set the world ablaze. A fireball. Surprising. Why do I hear harmonizing? Why is he on his back? Spontaneous heart attack. What? Spontaneous heart attack. Okay, we'll explain the fire. <laughs> when you're down, you're out, and there's problems are plenty. You'll always come through with a natural 20. Ready to face all the foes in our way. But anyone can be undone by anyone. But not today. Doesn't this slap? Damn. Best song I ever wrote, helping my best friends. Punch a guy in the throat. So on our game, look at our score. No I in team. There's an A. Why would you give the magic user a torch so she can play with more fire? What the hell's wrong with you, bro? It's fine. Um. I... What? what? <laughs> It's really well done. Um, a lot of the lyrics won't make, f won't make any sense to anyone who's never played D&D, &D, but for anyone who's ever played D&D, &D, the stuff hits right on the mark, and you're just, it's, it's so perfectly done. It really is well done. And he's a great singer and performer. He's a natural bard. Yes, that is a compliment. If you go up to someone who is musically inclined and is good at dancing and they're all-around performer, you can say, you're a natural bard. And if they look at you quizzically, like you insulted them, then they're stupid. But if they go, oh, thanks, you can probably invite them to be a bard in your D&D game and you'll probably own. Just a thought. Though, which stands for Antrius. Buddly, 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 fighting valiantly for our cause. <laughs> Your eye. Everyone dies. We're products of our milieu. We're sexy, but we'll kill you. Everything's broken and charred. We're half elf, pink, and the bark. <laughs> Am I dying? Slip into bliss. You can rest in my hands. No more on this mortal coil shall you dance. I see a light. Walk towards it then. You'll never see your ugly children <laughs> again. <laughs> what? Or your awful wife, or your tiny house, or your measly food, or your tacky goblets, or your cracked crockery and dishes. Why? My mockery is vicious. <laughs> oh no. That's another spell that, yeah, that's a cantrip that's, that's hilarious. When you 
you're down and you're out and there's problems are plenty You'll always come through with a natural 20 Ready to face all the foes in our way But anyone can be undone by anyone Okay, so apparently the the lisp is the lisp because she has the teeth? I'm not sure, but apparently the magician is is harmonizing and has a wonderful voice. So it's pretty damn good. Um <laughs> A party of three. Oh my gosh. It's like three's company, but Jack Tripper's not get, wait. Maybe. It's his life. Let him live it. But not today. We'll always pass the test, <laughs> no matter how we're vexed. And now, another quest! Where should three heroes go next? Wow. That's not really how that ability works. But okay, I'll allow it. Cool. And that's their channel thing. Yeah, yeah, there it is. That's cool. No, it's really my mockery is vicious. <laughs> Hi, thanks for watching. Um, this has been episode one of season three, and I love my job. Uh, thanks, Screen Australia, for funding this. This is where all the money went. You dropped it, dude. Uh, I don't give a hoot. Uh, <laughs> thanks to our Patreon for making this possible. I uh, didn't think I'd have this much on my face outside of an OnlyFans. Anyway, uh, the rest of this will be said by Andreas. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Uh, smash that subscribe button and also the like button. Yes. Ah, hit that bell icon. You call that an outro, Andreas? He's not even, he's still alive! And we can, so we can nourish him back! <laughs> I have touched his tongue too much. <laughs> It's pretty funny. Did one of my teeth come out? It's <laughs> so lovely. I'm missing a tooth. Oh, oh. Uh, I, I it's, it? it might be in the porridge. Quick, we'll find it. <laughs> oh, God. Paint me like one of your French girls. Paint me like one of your French girls. Holy crap. Okay, so awesome. Um, the fact that the Australian government helps pay for this shit. <laughs> hey. Works for me. It's good stuff. Much better than a lot of the stuff that the United States government pays for. Of all the things in this video, that was the only thing that wasn't a joke. <laughs> but it's still funny.